Brother Mess is working the most high, man. man. So hold, so, God, God, man. hold on, real back. quick. So you French, right? Yeah. So you believe in the Bible? Yeah. Can you find French in the Bible? Uh, no. No, right? No. What did God call you? Cause he ain't call you French. He called me a name. Right. So what is your name? Hotel. You said what? Hotel. No. What? What is your name? Your nationality? What's your name? Who you are? What's your ethnicity? Like my nationality? Yeah. I'm French. Let's show you real quick. Give me Isaiah one. Let me show you. Let's show you real quick. Isaiah one three. You got all day to do that. Isaiah one three, real quick. Cause we're not, you're not French, we're not American, we're not black, we're not African American. We can't find these titles in the Bible. So we, so we got to figure, figure out what the God calls us. So read that. The, the, the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. Uh -huh. The ox knoweth his owner, uh -huh. and the ass his master's crib. Uh -huh. But Israel doth not know. Says, but who? But Israel, Israel doth, doth not, not know. It says, but Israel don't know who they are, read on. My people doth not consider. And they only consider. So brother, you're not French, brother. You're an Israelite. You are God to the people. You're the real Jew according to the Bible. We can prove it to you. So let me ask you. So how did our how did our people get here to America or how did our people get to to to, to, to Europe and Germany and all, all these different countries? How we get there? Um slavery work. I, slavery, right? Yeah. Did you know that's yeah, in the slavery. Bible? No. We're gonna show you real quick. Give me Deuteronomy 28. In verse 68. Give me Exodus 28. Oh, well, we have to go. All right, real, look, real, real, real quick. quick watch real this. Quick. It's Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Because you ain't going to hit us nowhere else, brother. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So it says Egypt. Now, our people never went back to Egypt physically. So it's not talking about the place of Egypt. We're going to show you what they mean. Bring it up. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 2. I'm the Lord thy God. Which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. out of the house of bondage. Out of what? The house of, of bondage. bondage. She punished me. Um, together, I guess. Captivity or slavery. Yeah. That's what bondage is, right? So watch this. Go back to Deuteronomy 20, verse 16. So Egypt is the place of slavery. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into slavery again. With ships. With what? With ships. He just said that we got there on slave ships, right? That's in the Holy Bible. What people that happened to? The Jews. Right. Meaning us. Yeah. Only happened to us. Ain't happened to the white man. Ain't happened to the Chinese man. Only happens to the Negroes, right? So that's in the Holy Bible. Keep going. By the way, where I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Not going to see our homeland no more again. Read on. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. And once we got off those slave ships, we were sold to the enemy. Who sold us? The whites. The whites, that's it. But the Bible calls them what? Your enemy. Calls them our enemies. For what? For bondmen. And bond women, uh -huh. and no man shall buy you. And nobody can redeem us. So we show you that the Bible is our history book. We are the only rich people that went to slavery on spaceships. And the question is, why that happened to us? Why did we go into slavery on spaceships? You gotta start asking questions for us too, right? <laughs> why did it happen to us? Uh, Lord got you up here for a reason. You gotta start asking questions. Hey, Tell me. Not sure. Not sure, right? Because when you look at history, we was the only race of people that ever went to slavery on spaceships. Can no other people say that? So why us, right? That's the big question. Why us? Bible gonna tell you why. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Give me Jeremiah 16 and 10. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. You know what the word hearken means, brother? Hold on real quick. He, he, good. he good, brother. Trust me. He, he good. You know what the word hearken means? No. Read it again from the top. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The word hearken means to listen. So we don't listen to God, right? We don't. To observe, to do all his commandments. To do what? All his commandments. To observe, to do all his commandments. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That's why we're in slavery on slave ship. Because the Most High cursed us to go into slavery for not keeping his commandments. You see that? Read that real quick. Jeremiah 16 and 10. Uh, it's the book of Jeremiah, uh, chapter 16 and verse 10. So, brother, listen, brother, you a real G. You gotta repent. Keep the commandments, brother. All right. All right, brother. Uh, All right. Bring it up. And it shall come to pass, but thou shalt show this people all these words. Y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all believe in the Bible? You don't? Why not, bro? You know it's the history? Huh? You know it's the history? You don't care to know? You don't care to know? All right, bro, you got to repent with the story in the market, man. You read this Ezekiel. Yeah, Ezekiel 7 and what? 5. That said, our people don't care. They don't consider. That's why he says that we are a sinful nation, laden with iniquity. We don't consider that who, we don't consider who we are. We don't care to know our, our nationality. We don't care to know our God. 
Bring it up. Book of Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 5. Thus said the Lord God, and evil, and only evil, behold, is come. You see that? That's why most are going to bring evil in this place. Because nobody care right now. All they care about is doing their own thing, living their own life, living in pleasure, living in abomination and wickedness. So the Most High has to destroy this place. He has to destroy this land. Read on. An end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee. Uh -huh. Behold, it is come. The morning is come unto thee. It says it's the, the end is coming, man. We at the end. We are at the very end when all these prophecies are taking place, man. Give me Mark 1 and 15. That's why Christ said what? To repent and believe the gospel. Mark 1 and 15. Oh, Book of Mark chapter 1 and verse 15. That's it. Book of Mark chapter 1 and verse 15. That's how people, when Negroes are destroyed. Negroes are completely destroyed. Read that. And said, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. It says the kingdom of the Most High is at hand. Meaning it's close, it's drawing nigh. That's why it says what? The morning has come. You know? Repent ye and believe the gospel. It says the what? Repent ye and believe the gospel. Now keep living this. Repent ye and believe the, the gospel. gospel. Hey, brother, y'all believe in the Bible, brother? You say what? I don't believe in it. You know it's in history? Huh? You know it's in history? That's what they tell me. We can prove it to you. Maybe another child, your brother. Brother, you gotta repent, man. That's it. Read it here from the top. Book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 15. Huh? And said, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom, the kingdom of the Most High is at hand. So we must do what? Repent ye and believe the gospel. So repent from your sins. To turn from your evilness, turn from your wicked ways. Because the end is coming to this land. That's right. And the Most High is going to set up this everlasting kingdom for those that only repent and to do His will. So repent and believe the gospel will be destroyed when all hell break loose and the Most High bring fire upon all the earth. So go back to Ezekiel, verse 6. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 6. <clears throat> An end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee. Uh -huh. Behold, it is come. Right. The morning is come unto thee. The morning is come also. Oh. O thou that dwellest in the land, uh -huh. the time is come. The time is come. The day of trouble is near. It says what? The day of trouble is near. It says the day of trouble is near. Pretty soon, everything is going to break loose. All hell's about to break forth, and it's going to be a whole bunch of the commotion and chaos. Trouble is coming, man. Whether y'all believe it or not, trouble is coming to this land of America. America ain't going to never be great again. <clears throat> You're not going to be able to keep walking up and down the way you are now and living life. It's gonna get real out here. That's right. Y'all believe in the Bible? It's already real out here. It is real, right? Why is it getting real? Hey, why? Hey, come, come, come talk to us real quick, bro. Come talk to us, bro. You said what? I ain't about your conversation. Why not? Because he, he says he says already real, right? Yeah. But guess what? It's gonna get real. It's gonna get way more real. It's gonna get way more real. It's about to be a war. He says what? It's about to be a war. It's gonna be more than that, bro. It's gonna be uh, more than the war. It's gonna be more than that, bro. It's gonna get way worse than that. But see, you gotta repent and come back to your God, bro. Cause what's, let me ask you, what's your nationality? I was about to ask you the same question. What's my nationality? I'm an Israelite. Israelite. So, so what's yours? Uh, oh, he, he don't like that. You see that? If you don't repent, you gonna get destroyed. What? 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 Am I? Uh, shit, I'm also gonna get destroyed. You gonna get destroyed in those so-called race wars that's coming. God. But Jacob won't believe in the Bible. They see what's happening. They see it's gonna get real, but they still don't want to turn back. Hey, brother. What's your nationality, brother? Black. Black's the color in the crayon box. Is it skin black? Is it skin black? It is? So your skin color my shirt? Damn man. You said what? Damn man. But you brown though, bro. You're not black. So what's your nationality? You gotta think about that. Think about that. Did you say African American? Yeah. But African Americans mean have two white men. Leo skip to the Africanas and the American Festivation. You come to white men? No, right? So who are you? Who are you, brother? Who are you? Right? We can show you who you are, brother. Sorry. Sorry. Watch this. Give me Isaiah 103, though. Real quick. We can show you who you are, brother. Isaiah 103. And give me um Jeremiah 14 and 2. No, Jeremiah 17 and 4. Stop. Jeremiah 17 and 4. Isaiah 103. Bring it up. Look at Isaiah. Chapter 1, verse 3. The ox knows his owner, and the ass his master's crib. 
that Israel does not know. Uh -huh. My people does not consider. Who is Israel, brother? Who, who today, 2020, who is Israel? Who the Israelites today? You know about that? All right, watch this, read that. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse four. Bring it out. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy inheritance that I gave thee. So God says that he wanna cause the Israelites to discontinue from their inheritance that God gave them, right? Read on. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. They're gonna do what? Cause, Slug it. serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. not. So God says that the Israelites, they're gonna serve their enemies in the land they don't know, right? Read on. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. Let me ask you, what race of people was taken from their land, got their history cut off, and got to serve their enemies in a different land? What did it happen to? Happened to who? It happened to us, exactly. Try it. Read it again. That only happened to us. You know? It's uh -huh. the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. Bring it out. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy inheritance that I gave thee. Uh -huh. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. Uh -huh. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. And that's what we call ourselves black. That's why we call ourselves African American, a Negro, a Puerto Rican, a West Indian. We call ourselves all these different names because we don't know who we are. You see that? Because we've been cut off from our nationality. But before that, God called us what? Israel. Because we are the Israelites. We are the real chosen people of God, the real Jesus of the Bible. That's right. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. We're going to prove it to you. But watch this. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Check this out, brother. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Yeah, this is something the, the church ain't going to teach. You will never hear these verses in the church at all. For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. So it says that ye are holy people unto God, be on. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So God chose thee to be a special people to himself. He was only speaking to the Israelites. He was speaking to all people. Be on. Above all people. Not below. Above, above all people. Who was made all equal. Above all people uh -huh. that are upon the face of the earth. So God says that we are special people in this sight and that we are above all other people on this earth. That's right. We are the chosen people. You see that? You will never hear that in church. But the question is, why we are the, why are we at the bottom of society? If that's the case. Why we got sold to slavery? Why are we working for our enemies? Why are we struggling so much? Why is that? Say it again. I mean, yeah, like goes on, but yeah, like goes on, but if you look at the world, only we, we don't only miss the only people that struggling where we are. If you look at the Chinese, the Caucasians, the, the East Indians, they ain't going through like how, like how we going. They living good. You know what I'm saying? If you look at the Negroes, only we are struggling. Why is that? Give me Amos 3 and 1. Why is that? I'm going to show you. Amos 3 and 1, and do the running 28 uh, picture. Uh, uh, we're going to show you why, bro. Amos 3 and 1. It's the book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. Bring it out. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, uh -huh. against the whole family. Because you, you're an Israelite, you know. Which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known. Say what? You, you only have I known. known. You, you only have I know. See that? That's a lot in the church that says that what? God loves all people. But God just said that you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Read again. You only have I known uh -huh. of all the families of the earth. Therefore what? Therefore I will punish you for all your iniquity. It says what? Therefore I will punish you, you for all your iniquity. So God says because I only know y'all, I'm going to punish you for all your sins. That's why we're struggling where we are now. That's why we go into the struggle and, 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 and can't rise up. Because right now, God is punishing us. Right now, we are in a cursed state. Look how we live. We ain't living good. We hate each other. We kill each other. We butt out of our minds. We, we homeless, turn out on drugs. Because we are in a cursed state. But God said that would happen if we didn't do what? We didn't keep his commandments. So read that. Get it right me 28 verse 15. Watch this, bro. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass. 
thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't listen to the voice of God, if you don't. To observe, to do all his commandments. To do what? All his commandments uh -huh. and his statute, uh -huh. which I command thee this day. That what? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these what? All these, these curses, curses shall, shall come, come upon, upon thee and overtake thee. thee. Now, is the curse a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing, right? So God says that if we don't keep his commandments, I'm going to curse you. That's like you being a father, and you give your son strict rules. You tell him, look, if you do what I say, I'll, do, I'll give you whatever you want. But if you disobey, I'm going to whip you. It's the same thing with God. If we keep his commandments, we'll be blessed as a nation. But on the flip side, if we don't listen, we'll get what? We'll get punished. So watch this. Let's read some curses that have, that's on us right now in today, 2020. Verse 16. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Where we live right now, bro? Baltimore City, right? We know. And cursed shall thou be in the field. So no matter where we go, these curses are gonna follow us. So right, so in Baltimore City, how we living in Baltimore City? Real reckless, man. Say what? Real reckless. Real reckless, right? We man, we we are finished out here at the bottom of society, right? Watch this. Me, verse forty-three. Verse forty-three. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. Talking about the other nations. So your, your, your Arabian people, your Korean people, of course the Caucasian, they can come within us and get above what's very high. This is a rich class and a prospering class, right? <clears throat> but read on. And thou shalt come down very low. Are we going to what? Thou shalt come down very low. But we're going to come down very low. Because we're at the very bottom of society. <clears throat> we, we're at the last end of the stick. We come, before, we, we come after all other nations in, the, in society. Why is that? Because God's cursing us. We are, we, are, we are being whipped right now for our sins. When before, we were supposed to be on top. But because we didn't want to serve God, they were at the bottom. The road switch. Read on verse 44. <coughs> verse 44. <coughs> and he shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. It says what? And he shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. It says that he gonna lend to us, but we not gonna lend to him. What that mean? He gonna give us stuff that we ain't gonna give back to him. Right, why is that? We still curse, right? Right, we still curse, but they own everything. Right. They own every single thing, the banks, the entertainment, the educational system, the, uh, the uh, medical fields, they own every single thing. They gonna lend to us, but we not gonna lend to them because why? We don't have nothing. We got nothing to lend to them. Cause we're at the very bottom. That's another curse. We don't. <clears throat> he shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. See that? He's the head, but we the tail. We're at the very end. But he up front. He, he the top man that, that, that run the whole world. That's supposed to be us. But we ain't listen to God, so guess what? We're at the bottom of society. At the very last. We don't. Verse 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So it says the curse is going to be upon us for a sign and for a wonder. Now what do a sign do? It's telling us something, right? So we sit there wondering like, damn, wow, we just talking about where we are now. Why, why are we going for it? Why we can't rise up as a people? Why we hate each other? These are signs of the curses. And it says it's going to be upon our seed forever. So meaning what? Now you have generational curses that's being passed down to our family that have been happening for over what? Over 400 years. Generational curses, you see that? But God, don't, he's, he's doing it to us. He's whipping us right now because of our sins. We don't? Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Because we want to serve God for all things. Remember, God would have gave us everything. But because we want to serve him for all things, now what? Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies. Our who? Thine enemies. enemies. Our best friends. Thy enemies. enemies. Our lovers. Thy enemies. enemies. Who are our enemies right now that we serve? That's a good answer. That's a damn good answer. That's a fact. That's a fact. God says that they, they are our enemies, you know? Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies. Which the Lord shall send against which us. Which the Lord shall send against us. And, and, what? and hunger. We ain't hungry. Who do you go to to buy your food from? The markets. Who own the markets? They own the markets. Right, read on. And in thirst. When you're thirsty. And in nakedness. When you want clothes in your back, they own the uh, the clothing lines. 
You know what I'm saying, Rito? And in want of all things. It don't matter what she want. You want to buy a house, you want to get a car, start a business. Whatever you want, you got to go to your enemies, Rito. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. It says, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon our necks. When do we have yokes of iron on our necks? Back when? You know what a yoke of iron is? Like, like a shackle. Yeah, like a shackle. Right. So at what point did we have to put iron upon our necks? At what point in time? Like in slavery, right? Several hard uh, bondage. That's right. Look, that's Bible prophecy. That's in the Holy Bible that's in the Christian church. But they ain't reading it. So why is that? Why are they showing these, these why are they showing these scriptures? Why are they showing like, our history in the Bible? That's talking about us. It ain't happened to no other people. So read again from the top. Did he shall what? <clears throat> and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Until we have been mentally destroyed. You see that? And yeah, they'll stay at home and see the pictures. That's right. That's in the Holy Bible. A yoke of iron upon our necks until we have been mentally broken down as a whole race of people. So now we have something called what? Stockholm Syndrome. Where we want to serve them. We want to be their friends. Now we saying, oh, I'm a, I'm a black man in America. Or I'm an African American. Oh, I'm an American. I'm a Negro. I'm a colored. We're being destroyed as a race of people. You see that? Now, now the chains are off. Now we're mentally destroyed and enslaved. Read on, keep going. Verse 49. <clears throat> the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. It came from far. Read on. From the end of the earth. Uh huh. And swift as the eagle flyeth. As what? As, as swift, swift as, as the, the eagle flyeth. As swift as the eagle flyeth. Brothers, what's the United States National Assembly? It's an eagle. You see, it's the bald eagle. But God said what? You're going to do what? <clears throat> the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth. So God's already telling you who he's going to send against us. He already telling us, look, I'm going to send these people against y'all. Because I ain't keep my commandments, I'm going to send them, the lowest of the lowest people, against y'all. You know? A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. You see that? A nation whose tongue we shall not understand. Because why? Before, we didn't speak English. We spoke Hebrew. So they came with the English, took our language, and made us uh, um, learn their language. That's right. You see that? So before we understand their language, read on. Verse 50, a nation of fierce countenance, mm -hmm. which shall not regard the person of the old, uh -huh. nor shoot favor to the young. He don't give a damn how old or how young you are. God. You're going you're gonna to be his slave. You know what I'm saying? If you're 90 years old, you still got work for him. If you if you're five years old, you're going to use you as, as a footstool or as an alligator bait. You ever heard of that? Bait. You see that? They ain't care how old or how young we are. Bring it up, 41. Verse 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters. We're going to have kids, but what? But thou shalt not enjoy them. Why? For they shall go into captivity. Because even our kids are going to go into captivity. That's right. Even our kids got a birth. That's why back then they, they had that what? That um that child labor laws. They was working the kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they was working the kids, man. Yep. 10 years old working in factories and shit. We're not going to join them because they're going to go into captivity. Give me verse 32. Verse 32, uh -huh. thy sons and thy daughters uh -huh. shall be given unto another people. Our sons and our daughters going to be what? Taken from us. Give them to another people, read on. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them uh -huh. all the day long. Uh -huh. And there shall be no might in thine hand. I mean, there ain't nothing we can do. We can't get them back. Once they're taken, they're gone. They're gone. They gone, you know what I'm saying? So what's the equivalent to today? The child protective service. Gone. I'm going to take your kids. Gone. They got to go through so many challenges and, and, and hoops to, just to get them back. And even then, they still want to give you back. They don't want to um, get them back to you. So they're taking our kids back then. They're doing it again today. All right, give me verse uh, 54. So how we, all right, give me, uh, what's, the, what's the relationship between a black man and another black man? You said what? Do we? But do we treat each other like brothers? Right. We don't, right? Watch this. That's in the Bible too. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 54. 
so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother. Says what? His eye shall be evil toward, toward his brother. brother. So that love that we once had, God says you're going to take it away from us, and now our eye is going to be evil to our own brothers. So now, but it definitely is, right? So it's so bad that if I look at you wrong, somebody got to die now. That's how bad it is. If I step on your shoe, somebody got to get shot. I can't even bump you without us getting into a fight. I can't just say, excuse me, brother, and it be all good. No, we got to fight now. Now our eye is evil to our own brother. That's the black on black crowd. You see that? We don't? His eye shall be evil toward his brother uh -huh. and toward the wife of his bosom. And toward what? And toward the, the wife of his bosom. And toward his own woman. Cause what did the brother say? Oh, I can't stand my baby mother. What, what did he be saying? You know. Right, I can't stand that, B. That's what they be saying, right? You know? His eye shall be evil toward his brother uh -huh. and toward the wife of his bosom. And what? And toward the remnant of his children, that which he shall leave. Which he shall what? Which, which he, he shall, shall leave. leave. So he gonna stay and take care of. Which, which he, he shall, shall leave. leave. Who's most known for leaving the kids? Uh, the black father. Now you got what? The broken family homes, single mothers trying to raise the kids, raising dragons with kids with no control. It's all messed up. Because why? The fathers are leaving the kids. Now you have a broken family home. You see that? Again, that's a curse. Before, a uh, long time ago, we was glad to have kids. We was happy to have kids. Now we can't, we scared for kids. Oh, carry your photo. Oh man, I got walk in the way, I'm out. You see that? Put the bounce on, on, on the child. You see that? That's a curse in the Bible. Talking about us only. The white man, he ain't gonna do that. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna do none of that. He ain't kill him first. He ain't kill him first. I mean, yeah, give me for 56. Verse 56. The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not have ventured to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness uh -huh. and tenderness, Damn. her eye shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom. So even a woman says even her eye gonna be evil toward her own husband. What they be saying? Oh, niggas ain't ish. Niggas be dead beast. I can't stand these niggas. But she knows. She's smiling. She know. She know it. <laughs> You see that? That's in the Bible. Niggas ain't no good. I'm gonna get me a white man. Niggas always acting up. They be saying that. Read on. And toward her son, and toward her daughter, uh -huh. and toward her young one that cometh out from between her feet. Right. Even towards their own kids. You're gonna be like, follow me and grow up. That's what, <laughs> that's what women be saying. You feel me? They don't want to raise the kids. They want to keep being holes and do their own thing and be on the streets while the kids been neglected. It's the same way. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I seen the video where a, a woman, she was happy that the um, CPS came and took our kids. She said, F them kids. I'm glad they gone. Damn. F them, she said that. F them kids. Turn up and everything. Celebrate. Yeah, yeah celebrate. Yup. Yeah. Yup. Yeah. But look, that's in the Bible. That's a curse in the Bible. You got a priest up? No. Give me, um, give me the last verse. <clears throat> What's good? Oh yeah, yeah, brother, you guys, yeah. So watch this, right? Now here's the main curse in the Bible. This is the last verse of this, of this chapter. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 16. Before you read it, how we get into America? How we get into America? On a boat. How we get into America? Huh? Boat. On a boat. How we get into America? On a boat, right? Read that and give me the Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Oh, what do you, Egypt mean? Uh, what do it mean? Not the place, but what, what, what do it mean? What's the meaning of it? Take a wild guess. Not sure? I'll, I'll take a guess and say the mother of like the homeland. You said what? Our homeland? You know. Uh, what you said? Not sure? I'm going to show you. Right here. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Pause, and real quick, Egypt's not our homeland, too. We're going to show you. It's all good, because what? Let's never lie. All right? So read that real quick. Take time. Take time. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. out of the house of bondage. Out of what? The house, house of bondage. bondage. Egypt means the place of bondage. So what's another name or term for bondage? Huh? Not that one. 
humble. The negative meaning for me. If I got you, I'm gone. What that mean? What that mean, bro? If I got you, I'm gone. What that mean? Basically, under control. Under control? What you say? Slave. 